King Jesus, King Jesus. Okay, I'm doing this video uh, about a new Ebola treatment. It says, uh, Fujifilm share price soars as Ebola treatment gets green light. The Japanese Health Ministry has made Fujifilm's experimental anti-flu drug available for use on e Ebola patients. Now, they wrote that wrong because the drug is already approved to treat the flu in Japan. So it's not an experimental anti-flu drug. It's an experimental anti-Ebola drug. Favipiravir, which was developed by Fujifilm subs subsidiary Toyoma Chemical Company, was approved as a treatment for influenza by Japan's health ministry in March. Whether it would be effective against Ebola is not yet certain. But the company spokesman, Takayo Aoki, said the virus causing the disease is similar to the influenza virus, and so the results are likely to be the same. Fujifilm is now involved in talks with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to arrange for chemical tests of the drugs. Of the drug. Yoshihiji Suga, Japan's chief cabinet secretary, says Favipiravir can be made available for treatment whenever the World Health Organization requests it. He added that in case of emergencies, the drug could be used without the involvement or authorization of the World Health Organization. Earlier this month, the UN's health agency described the problem in West Africa as vastly underestimated and said unapproved treatments could be used without receiving official approval. Fujifilm benefited from yesterday's announcement with its share price going up by 3,254 yen during trading this morning. The disease is rapidly spreading across West Africa and has already claimed the lives of 844 people, according to figures released by the World Health Organization on the 22nd of August. There is currently no licensed vaccine or specific treatment available for the deadly virus, which has a fatality rate of between 60 and 90 percent. But a number of companies are racing to create a cure. Favipiravir works by inhibited viral gene replication within infected cells. Fujifilm said, This is unlike most antiviral drugs, which stop propagation by inhibiting the release of new virus particles. One of the major benefits of the drugs is its abundance. Fujifilm has enough stock to treat more than 20,000 patients. This is in stark contrast to the MAP biopharmaceuticals, whose supply of the experimental ZMAP drug has already been exhausted after use on only a handful of people. The benefits of ZMAP have also been called into question following a poor survival rates for those treated with the experimental drug. Yesterday, a doctor in Liberia became the latest Ebola sufferer to die after ZMAP failed to cure him. A Spanish priest also died earlier this month following treatment. Now let me read uh, you this abstract about uh, this new drug and the, uh, the uh, business name of the drug or the brand name is called Avagan. The scientific abstract reads like this. Outbreaks of Ebola hemorrhagic fever in Sub-Saharan Africa are associated with, with case fatality rates up to 90%. Currently, neither a vaccine nor an effective antiviral treatment is available for use in humans. Here we evaluate the efficacy of the piperazine carboxyamide derivative T-705. Favipiravir against Zier Ebola virus in vitro and in vivo. T705 suppressed replication 
of Zaire, Ebola, and sales in cell cultures by four log units with an IC 90 of 110 micromolars. Mice like in the type 1 infect and in interferon receptor were used as in vivo models for Zaire Ebola virus induced disease. Initiation of T705 administration at day 6 post infection induced rapid virus clearance, reduced biochemical parameters of disease severity, and prevented a lethal outcome in 100% of the animals. The findings suggest that T705 is a candidate for treatment of Ebola hemorrhagic fever. So uh, the animal model experiments and uh, cell culture experiments show that this drug is uh, is 100% in fact effective against Ebola. This drug, Avagan, it, it says here, pharmaceutical companies have been rapidly developing treatments for Ebola virus as well as seeking sources of funding to expedite these developments. No proven cure so far exists for the virus that has affected some 1,400 people in Sierra Leone. Nigeria, Liberia, and Guinea. The pharmaceutical companies in the race to develop Ebola cure include MAP Biopharmaceuticals, Tech Mira Pharmaceuticals, Serepta Therapeutics, and Fujifilm Holding Corporation, the latter of which is currently in the limelight with this drug, Avagan. Fujifilm entered the pharmaceutical industry in 2008 when it took a majority stake in Toyoma Chemical Company. The, the company, which is famous for its cameras worldwide, reported, with film fading into the background, the company wanted to apply its production expertise and nanotechnology techniques to drug making. After meeting the demand supply gap, the latecomer to the race seems to be winning an important race to develop a cure for the deadly Ebola virus. Avagan or Favipiravir T705 is an anti-influenza treatment developed by Fujifilm subsidiary Toyama. Avagan works on flu viruses by inhibiting the replication when human cells are attacked. According to the to a Fujifilm spokesperson, the drug can also be used to cure Ebola virus. So there we have it. This seems to be a cure as a molecular biologist and physician. I think this is a great approach. I think it is, offers great hope. Uh, I don't think it's a great investment because once the disease is cured, there's not gonna be a great need for the drug.